Hello guys, it's Josip of Ready from Game Logics and this is part 23 of how to make a Ludo game in Unity. So let's get started. And uh, the first thing that I want to do is to uh, do a little bit of commenting because I think that uh, it will be great for you guys so you can understand them. Uh, well, so it should be like uh, when... Uh, uh, when players uh, have uh, no move, then uh, switch the turn to the next player. Okay, so let's let's uh, copy this. And let's paste it here. Let's copy these spaces along with this. Will it be? No, it's not. Okay, so. Uh, yeah. Okay, so now let's code something new. Okay, and that should be like uh, uh, players border glow. When they are about to come out of their homes, okay. So let's score that. Okay, so we are in the green player, and uh, if uh, if uh, yeah, uh, if. Uh, Select dice num animation is uh, equal to six, and like the green player, uh, his um, uh, roll the dice, uh, and it has rolled six. Okay, so it's uh, so the green player is about to come out of his home, and the green uh, player one steps, and they are equal to zero. So it means that. Uh, he is not out of his home yet, but he is about to. Okay, so then what we would like to do is we, uh, we would like to do is um, simply uh, activate the green player, green player one border. We will activate the border, okay, and make it true. And now we uh, we would like to interact with the green player one okay so let's make the green player one button interactable okay so now we want to interact with the green player and it should be true as well so now let's copy and paste It's going to be written as play two, border two and two. Okay, so it's the same thing. Three. Okay, so it's simple. If any of the green player has rolled the dice six, and so. He is about to come out of his home, okay, and it's uh, the round border that uh, we have added to all the players it will become active. This one, okay, this board, these borders, these border, okay, so they will become active. So, 
they will appear okay yep okay the last one is left the fourth one and, uh, yeah so Let's do the same thing for the red one, okay? So if select uh, it's equal to six and red player steps for one equal to zero, then would like to activate its border red player on border dot set active should be true. And again, uh, its button should be. Uh, we should be able to interact with the red player. Um, with the red player one, okay. So interactable. Okay, now again, copy and paste. <laughs> Do the, let's do our thing and it's uh, almost done so hmm, it's almost yeah so red and green are good to go and it's time for blue and yellow so let's do that comment oh yeah let's leave the comment okay it's i just wanted to give you the idea what you are about to do okay and it should be like select it's equal to six and if uh, blue no blue player steps equal to zero then activate blue players border dot set active it's the in blue what the hell blue button okay so <clears throat> let's copy and paste so it's time to do our thing Oh, it should be two. Hmm. Yeah. A lot of duplicate code. Yeah. You do one thing for you do something for one player, then you will have to do it for the rest of them. Okay. So the, I think yellow is left. Yep, yellow is left. So if uh, we are solidizing the region, if it's equal to six and uh, yellow player steps one. equal to zero 
and it's then it's uh, a border should be active and uh, yellow player button should be interactable okay let's copy and paste Pressed tab by mistake. So it's done. And uh, <clears throat> let's check that. Let's see if it works the way that we want it to be. Let's save it and let's run the game. Okay, so from the beginning. Well, what well, why it's taking? Oh, yeah, I'm already in the Ludo screen. I was already in the Ludo screen. Let's roll uh, and see. Oops, I oh, are not getting sick. Man, come on, man. Oops, wow. See, it's <clears throat> activated, and uh, I will. Why don't we rotate them? Okay, so let me check. If I give them a rotation at Z axis, it should uh, work or not. Okay, yeah. I should have attached. Mm, yeah, so there is no. Yeah. So there is no, uh, yeah, we haven't attached a rigid body or something like that, but we do have um, um, an eye tween. Okay, we do have an eye tween and it has a capability to rotate the things. Okay, where it is, it's this one, our standard. Let me check it. Let me check that. And the other thing that uh, it showed that it was supposed to do, it did that. Okay, so it's working fine. It's everything is great. Okay, and you saw it activated all the um, all the borders of the green players. Okay, because we coded them in this way. Okay, so all of these uh, like all of these statements will become true. Okay. First, it will activate the because they all and they are they all are in their homes yet okay and they're all and uh, the steps for all of the green players they are equal to zero okay so all of them will become true okay mm. yeah I was uh, was thinking about yeah this I tween I tween Twin event or is it a twin event or is it a simple? Let's let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. It I twin event. Yeah, yeah, it's a twin event, uh, and uh, it's it has a property. Mm, this 
everything rotate by mm, rotate by oh, rotate by Okay, let's 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 check that. Move to not move to. It should be. It has a lot of properties. You can see. Okay, rotate. Um, rotate by. Yeah, it should be Z. Okay, so in the Z axis, it should be in the Z axis and tighten its speed. I will check that. Uh, I mean, you want it has a source code, and I will check that. Um, I haven't studied it yet. It's a utility. Uh, yeah, you can, its documentation is available on the internet. You can see, you can study about that. Let's check, let's check that, okay? Let's save it. Let's run the game if it uh, works or not. That then, then we will make it work, okay? It's not that difficult. Oh, now we go. we got. Okay, let's let's check that in the running mode. Let's check that. And Which, uh, which one player? Rotate by. Is it rotating? No. Speed. No. Not working. Why? Rotate it. Mm. I haven't studied it, but I have uh, the idea that there is something that creates this rotation. I don't know, rotate to, rotate update, rotation, nope, rotate to, no, okay, so, I will uh, I will see that I will check that okay it's not a big problem and uh, then I will tell you what was uh, that uh, property um, it has a source code here okay so and it will take some time and you can see here okay so it's a lot of things and uh, it has been created by someone else okay it's a utility and it is uh, a very useful utility to make our work easy okay so then i will let you know i will let you know what is the thing that uh, we can make them what is the that particular property property that we need uh, to uh, rotate our uh, borders okay so this is it for this tutorial guys uh, thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, press the bell icon for uh, notifications and uh, don't forget to support me see you and uh, the next tutorial